We're listening to testimony now. Pay attention. One testimony from here. Then we go to the social media. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have Sister Janet Esenu Asako with me here to give her testimony. She has suffered from 20 years of having the feeling of a moving object all over her body. And this is one of those complaints that wearies family physicians. We call it non-specific complaints. She had this movement all over her body for 20 years, and she has gone to several hospitals to no avail. She's here to give her testimony. Mi pa ma u. Eme mo giri don do. Ma u du a mi do mu do. Mi mo ye lo mi mo. E ben go mo nu kunda bo do go. Ye fong ki ale li o ton do do ma u re lo. You know that you seek God, that you know that you are alive today. You want you to stand up and shout three hallelujah to God. We call on it genetic. Look as one abun miza tome. Ye you love me don't we wake a lotto? The mommy jet daddy don't me who are Daddy don't me who are they? Lord, do I owe to the song two thousand one one of bomb? The mommy was jet a daddy roll for the gun. What don't miss your lot do you more? I would too lolly. I would throw away out to the endo, Tacumeno do Yacolo. Molo Zolo do, Yimo out to lolly. Edges Zamelo go and Chomelo and Fiamma. Loa Modon de Royaco, Dolo Otimese, and Nepongo. Loya and Lofi Pema Tower. Loa Iku Rondo Don Logaga, Nuloton. Lo Monde Dimesa of Vongo, where A Loa Dran, Nula Badomeni, Nupado Acado Nuvoni, Loa Mora Papa Widow Dime, Long Dolome. On the grand papa loton, sonne maui doré, a ou tout a bona a le bolon. All she tried to told us is that, to tell us is that she has been having, her name is Jani Esenu Azampo. She has been having this sickness for over 20 years now. She's not a member of this church, but she was invited to this crusade ground. So when she came here on Thursday, on Thursday, they, uh, her daddy asked her to place her head wherever they have their problem. So when she put her hand there and daddy prayed, the final amen, when she went back home and sleep, in that sleep, she had the dream that something like kata was coming out from her nose. So she was trying to remove the, the kata from the dream, so uh, from her nose in that dream. So by the time she was trying to, he found out that it cannot do it with her. It was using force to remove the kata. When he now pull her, he found out something like warm in that a kata had big, and the warm had big head. So another one is that he found out that her mouth was open in that room that two crockery. She removed that crockery from her mouth live. So when she now committed that crockery, he found out the crockery were dead in that room and she woke up safely and nothing is wrong with her again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And since then, the movement object is no more worrying at the game. Praise the living Jesus. 20 years problem vanish away. Whatever is your problem tonight, I can assure you, your problem is rolling away. Testimony from the social media. Great things are happening on the social media. We want to remind you that yesterday, our father in the faith gave us a testimony of an 87-year-old Mama Alice or Labanjo from Itele Group who slumped and died and came back to life as she was listening to the program in a sister's house via radio. Just today, we got another one from Ethiopia. It is another dead raised to life. We are tracking the story. We already have confirmation. We will bring you the details later. But the brief we have is that this woman was ill, slumped, 
and died and was confirmed dead. But somebody in the family kept the radio on. And as the man of God, our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, was ministering, they had lost hope and they went to call the undertakers to take her out. And while that message was done, everybody left the room, but the message was still on. Power, explosive miracle, struck her. She came back to life. And we are told that she stood up and went to the toilet. The undertakers came in. They didn't see her. They were wondering. And before they knew what was happening, they sighted her walking towards the car. And they, they saw her and they ran away. And somebody had to ask her, is it you? She said, she's back to life. She came back to life. We bring you the confirmation of this testimony uh, by the grace of God. We can also tell you that big names are bowing to the name of Jesus. We got this testimony that told us that Omicron, the, the, latest, um, uh, 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 the latest wave of COVID-19, has bowed to the name of Jesus. We got this from South Africa. The name Zenele Shimagele Shenzi from South Africa. She wrote, I give glory to the Lord for healing my kids in Jabulo and Tobeka from severe flu. It started with my son. Then the following day, my daughter, being in South Africa with the issue of Omicron, we had to check and they found out it was Omicron. And then they needed to confirm how far it had gone and it had reached a bad stage as the hospital told them after the test. In that fear, she didn't know what to do. But she connected to this powerful miracle explosion crusade and Omicron bowed to the name of Jesus. We have a confirmation from Zenele Shemgele Sheze that after tests, they found out that Omicron is cleared and gone completely. Praise the Lord. We also bring you this one finally before we return to the moderator. He says, my name is Daniel Salfo from Wolverhampton, United Kingdom. I was delivered from spiritual attack last night as the prayer of the man of God was underway. I have been under this attack for years and it resulted in incessant vomiting and coughing. After the prayer of the man of God, vomiting ceased, coughing stopped, and total recovery came back. God is still doing great things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Great things God is doing. He's doing it over here. He's doing it all over the globe. And I believe God tonight is your own time. 